In the next few months, you'll be able to buy a 15-in-1 microwave. South African innovation by a township boy who did all of that at the age of 13. 18 years later, his dream is being realized. He's got his own science institute to groom more innovators. So Stuart Glati is with me now in the studio. Very good to have you with us. Nice to meet you. Good evening. <laughs> You're going to space soon, I believe. Very true. When is that going to happen? The official announcement will be made next day in April, and then that's when we'll get the date. But it's happening pretty soon. And I should imagine you are both petrified and excited. Uh, not petrified, but extremely excited. Let's look at some pictures now of the, the shuttle that you're going to be in. Is it called the shuttle? Yeah. It's Virgin it is. Galactic, isn't it? That was taken off in the last couple of days, and you're going to be somebody in there, and it's going to be just quite extraordinary, I think, even if you don't have an interest in science. Amazing. Will you be tweeting fr from up there if you can? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talk us through what you've got in front of you. Um, this is an investment in quick and easy shoe cleaning. Uh -huh. This is the Schooner Shoe Cleaner. Yeah. Uh, popular. Like pop yeah. yeah, Schooner is a new name that we had to create after many months. Okay. And yeah. why did you come up with that? Uh, we needed um, a name that represents Africa. It was originally called Auto Shoe Cleaner. Uh -huh. So we needed something that speaks to the African market yes. before we take it global. So we, had, we invited the public to suggest names. And then in the end, we had to fuse several recommendations and uh -huh. come up with the new name Schooner uh, Shoe Cleaner. But it is, a, it is a device, the first of its kind or an, anywhere else in the universe. Uh, this device is, uh, has been created to keep your shoes not only clean and shining, but uh, odor-free. You know, you can, you can vacuum the, wow. your shoes, yeah. you can uh, steam them, you can clean them. Uh, basically, you are investing when you buy this, you are investing in a quality shoe cleaner that keeps not only your sneakers, but your suede shoes, your, your flops, uh, any type of shoe, your heels, you know, any yeah. type of shoes that you can uh, think of. Even pumps, I believe they are the most difficult shoes to oh, really? keep. <laughs> anyway, Shoemakers, yeah. is, is it called way now? I think that's what, yeah. They're, they're going to be upset with you, aren't you? I mean, you're going to minimize the amount of shoes that you have to buy. <laughs> <laughs> not really, not really. Do you want to show us how it works? Can uh, you? Uh, Do you need my shoe? <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty clean. Okay, maybe if you move the box, I think the box is obscure. Okay, there we go. Okay, flat now. Uh, this is an investment, sorry. That's typical, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the day of all days. It's fine, we'll try Okay, anyway, so that obviously goes round, right? Yes, um, I, can, I can explain how it works. Yeah. Uh, you've got interchangeable brushes. Uh -huh. So the brushes, uh, if your shoes are navy blue, mm -hmm. you just change your brush and then the cartridge will detect the, the new brush oh, really? and then it will oh, expense the, the, the right um, color. Uh -huh. And then each cartridge can last up to 36 cycles, right. saving you a staggering 82 rents per month on your normal shoe cleaning cost. And then underneath here, that's where the steam and the foam comes comes through. So if you have to clean your, your sneakers, the foam will come uh, through here. Right. You know, and then you can steam them and uh, make sure that uh, they are smelling fresh and neat. Oh, that's so clever. Yes. And is it out and about then? You can buy it and it's easy access uh, We've recently to it partnered or? with uh, the, one of the largest shoe retailers in Africa, mm -hmm. a South African company. And uh, we're just uh, having some delays, but it's coming out uh, in a very short period of time. Um, we can say a month or two, it should be out in the South African market. It will be distributed countrywide and uh, also up, uh, beyond the South African borders. I think you're going to do pretty well out of that one. Yeah, we now, You've got so. other, two other innovations which I want to talk about, but first let's go back yes. uh, to, to what has made you to today and you started as a young boy interested in science tell us your story uh let's quickly go back 18 years ago uh -huh. you know, uh, 18 years ago the year 2000 south africa had just recently joined the international village you know we are coming from life before 1994 mm -hmm. 
and to my observation I realized that national government was using arts and culture, entertainment, uh, music, you know, and so on for social cohesion. Unaware there were a lot of technologies coming into the country and I was just flabbergasted by these technologies that are coming into South Africa mm. and there was no one catering for those who have got uh, 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 bright brains and so on, you know. Okay, so just very quickly, that is your innovation which we're going to come to. So we're just putting it there as a little tease before you start talking about it in depth. Carry yeah. on with your story. Yes, but anyway, um, I was just uh, amazed by the technologies that were coming back or that they were coming to South Africa because we had recently been uh, shut out from the whole world, you mm. know. So um, that uh, inspired me to pay more attention and then that led me to establishing an after school science lab, mm -hmm. which today is now a fully fledged uh, institute. Uh, that comes up with incredible cool chi and new technologies that improves the quality of life for all. Is a cool chi? Cool chi and new. Okay, the cool yeah. chi. Well, that's a, a term. I, quickly, yeah. quickly, Google, Google. Okay. Yeah. So that's where that's where it all started for me. I was 13 years. I was doing grade eight, and um, yeah, and then I just found myself obsessed with science and tech. And this is a time when most young people were experimenting, going through puberty and all that and uh, playing and all that. I did play. Uh, people often think that I never played. Yeah. I had the best childhood any child could wish for, but uh, my, uh, my attention on innovation has always been undeterred. And why though? What was it that excited you growing up mm. about it? What Look, maybe let me, let me explain uh, my first innovation, uh, go through that, then you'll understand better. Mm. One afternoon, I find myself visiting a friend, uh, and at his house, he decides to warm lunch for us, and I had never seen a microwave then. In a matter of less than three minutes, here is rice and mincemeat, it's ready, and now we have to eat it. And I'm, uh, suddenly, I, d I was not hungry anymore. I wanted to understand this technology. Uh. You know, I was coming uh, from... Uh, from uh, what I'm from Joberton, uh, based in Clackstop, you know, in the township, you know, then the township was still new. Mm -hmm. uh, there was no electricity where I was staying, and I had never been exposed to a microwave before. So I didn't know what a microwave is, you know. So I was, uh, I was blown away. Mm -hmm. And uh, right there, you know, looking at the microwave, how the radiation was going through inside, the lighting, and uh, further studying it further. I think that hook, uh, got me hooked up, you know. Mm. And that's why most of the things that I can do today, it's self-taught. So know. talk us through what you came up with in the design. We've got it there on the screen. Yes. So how does uh, it work? <laughs> it's very space age, dramatic. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Well, that is the, the, the one in the middle. That is the, 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 the Marvel Wave cuisine. You might wonder why are we calling it Marvel Wave. Uh -huh. Marvel, we decided to get rid of micro because microwaves are dangerous for people. You know, they cause cancer because due to the radiation emanated by microwaves. Mm. And in addition to that, um, they, uh, they, they, they heat food too hot, you know, they yeah. become too hot, you know, you have to let mm. it cool off. So this is not producing microwaves, it's producing marvelous waves. Yeah. So the marvelous waves then cooks your shoes using a total internal uh, uh, lighting inside to mm. cook your food at an incredible speed of time. But what you don't know about this microwave is that you don't need electricity to... Uh, to, to operate it, you know. Ooh. There's a secret that I can't discuss. No. <laughs> uh, behind uh, the, the bottom part there uh, okay. is powered with a new technology that uh, my organization has coined, uh -huh. which allows you to cook your food. It has 15 functions, you know. Uh. You can do just about anything that you normally do in the kitchen. Yeah. So this yeah, used to be a box. Pictures. Yeah, this used to be a box, mm -hmm. by the way. It was just a box uh, made out of recycled material. The first model cost me about 13 rents, and uh, in a few months, uh, I can't mention the company, but uh, the biggest giant in the world is, is, is acquiring rights to this technology. Uh, and finally, because as you say, you've been working on this for 18 years. Yeah, it's 18 years, and uh, that should tell you the story about the South African investment on innovation. It's yeah, I mean, let, me, let me ask you about that. Firstly, let's look at how many awards you've received. I mean, quite staggering throughout your a lifetime. They can I just pop up on the screen um, any minute now, so we can admire them. I uh, just scooped the fiftieth one too. Uh, did you? Ago. Congratulations! Yeah, so fifty awards uh -huh. and um, uh, fifty awards, second to none. And um, every time I get an award, I'm reminded uh, to work harder. To, uh, an award it doesn't say to me, 
I must rest. It says to me and my team, we need to work much better. Mm -hmm. But uh, one of the best awards amongst these 50 awards that always uh, takes us uh, beyond is the Johnny Walker Nation's Greatest mm -hmm. Inventor. Being recognized by such a powerful brand as the nation's greatest inventor, they were particularly impressed by this technology. Mm. Uh, said to us that um, we are really on the right path. In the absence of investments, we are really going somewhere. Okay. Now, why is it so hard? So I, I brought all of those up to show how successful you are, you've got great ideas, and yet it is really difficult to get money into these investments. What's the problem? Let me first start by saying that if Mark Zuckerberg was born in South Africa, there'd be no Facebook. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway in Africa, there'd be no Facebook. Uh. Why? The South African investment market is traditional. Yes. In order for me to invest in anything, you know, I have to see it. I must not say, here's the schooner shoot leaner, can you give me 10 million to distribute it across mm. Africa? No, I must say to you that I've sold 20 million of these. Yes, okay. I need 50 billion to mm. roll out these all over the world, you know. Yeah. So our investors are very, uh, they, they, they say they are, they, they go, they are into risk management, but they don't really no, they don't risk. take a chance. They don't believe in ideas that are on paper. They don't believe in ideas that are still in your mind. And how silly, because they could be missing out on opportunities. Exactly. Like the paper you know. clip kind of thing. So um, investors out there, probably watching this show, I'm saying to them that they need to learn to risk. They need to yes. come on board. They must bring the investment. If I was uh, an artist, I'd be a billionaire now, but yeah. I'm not. I am an inventor. But, you know, but and I you know most inventors. Pretty soon. You know, a lot, uh, most inventors die poor because we don't really understand them. We don't really yeah. uh, believe in the ideas. It takes many years for now. Uh, for them to, for their ideas to be taken serious. And in the, in the last 18 years, I've tried to send a message to the investors and to the world that invest now, understand what we are doing now. We have solutions to the most challenges uh, problems of the modern day. Including taking places off the grid. Tell mm. us how that's going to work and why you think more of our South African youth should get into science. Firstly, uh, uh, 55 million plus South Africans are not aware that... Um, most of them are not aware that we are left with just under 50 years worth of coal in, in South Africa. So that Yippee, means... actually. Sorry? <laughs> no. <laughs> that means that our reliance on electricity is going to come to an end, whether we like it or not. And I said to the team, we need to start uh, venturing into this problem. Let's research and find ways in which we can... Uh, uh, get rid of this problem or maybe intervene in some way. Mm. And uh, then we came up with a concept, you know, which is no longer a concept. Firstly, let me say that we discovered an element that does not exist. Now, I'm going to have to leave it there because we've run out of time, but I like leaving it on that cliffhanger yes. because if people want to find out more, they can Google you, research yes, yeah, you. Sir so Stuart and Clancy with us here in the studio to find out more about his investments, his investigations, his uh, creations, and uh, you can support him as well. Thank you very much for Thank that. Thank you very much. Up next, all the yummy festive season food, adding the kilos will help you keep the fat off.